Hey, how's it going? Today we are adding a huge applique design to the back of this track jacket. Stay tuned to find out how. Alright guys, so in front of me here I have all the materials I'll be using today for this project. Starting around the left here, I have the jacket we'll be using. It is a 100% polyester jacket. Right next to it, I have my Mighty Hoop station. This is how I'm going to make sure the design is squared and centered exactly how I want it and where I want it on the jacket. For the hoop, we are using our 11 by 13 inch hoop today. This is because the design is fairly large at about 10 by 10, 10 inches by 10 inches, a circular design. So we'll be using this to maximize our stitch space. As for the stabilizer and fabrics we'll be using, for the stabilizer, I am using two sheets of poly mesh cutaway and then a single sheet of heavier tearaway stabilizer. For the fabric, we are using two pieces of twill, one white, one black. This is a double applique process where we are gonna be putting down the black and then the white on top of it. I have prepared the fabric already with the heat and bond material that I'm using to press on to the fabric and the garment afterwards to ensure that the fabric doesn't come off down the road when it's being washed. Alright guys, so we just got the hoop set up. I've widened the arms to accept this larger hoop so that way we can fit it in no problem. One thing I did want to note, the stitch count is 36, 37,000 stitches. And again, this is a double applique. So both the inside and the outside portion here are going to be filled with fabric. When I tried to do this design with fill stitches, it is possible obviously, but it was close to about 90, I think 80, 90,000 stitches. That is gonna take a lot longer, which it means it's gonna cost them more. So if you do have a project like this, I would definitely recommend convince your customer to do applique. I, overall, it's, it saves you time, saves the customer money, and it just looks better in my opinion. It's kind of up to you and how your designs are. It depends on each design specifically. But with that being said, we've got everything set up. I have the hoop here. Let's get it in and then we can get going. I think I need two hands for this, so I'm gonna put you guys back down. Give me two seconds. All right guys, so there we go. I forgot to record the part of me removing the stabilizer, but it's the same as usual. Just trim off all the excess threads and then tear away the tear away stabilizer, then cut the cutaway as close as you can to the design, being careful not to cut the garment itself. With that being said, here's the finished design. I'm pretty happy with it. There is one more thing that goes on the front. It is not applique, it's just regular, so I'm not gonna include that in this video. I hope you enjoyed the video, or at least found it somewhat entertaining. Anyways, have a good one. Take care.